My name is Alan Berman, and I'm a marine biologist and conservationist. In other words, I've studied the living things in the ocean and how they interact with the non-living ocean and with people in society. I'm interested in working together as a community to create more biodiverse, beautiful, and functioning marine ecosystems that will last and be protected for generations to come. You might be asking, what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem comprises of the interactions between all the living things, like the plants and animals, and the non-living things like air, water, and nutrients in a specific area, interconnected and existing in a delicately balanced state. Not only are ecosystems precious in their own right, but they also provide people with many economic and health-related benefits, generally known as ecosystem services. Today, I want to talk to you about a specific marine ecosystem or habitat called the estuary, and also about the ecosystem services that it provides. Firstly, what is an estuary? An estuary is a place where salt water from the ocean and fresh water that runs off the land converge and mix together, forming a unique protected coastal habitat. Estuaries like the Long Island Sound can be very large, or they can be small like this outgrowth of the sound here at Sherwood Island Mill Pond. Estuaries are often associated with wetlands, places where the ground is saturated with water and where everything must be adapted to living in the water, as it is the dominant factor affecting the habitat. Estuaries are also associated with the tides, the rise and fall of the ocean that occurs in every coastal zone at least once and sometimes twice daily in response to the gravitational pull of the sun and moon. So why are estuaries so important? Well. They provide a very unique and different habitat to that of the open ocean and to that of rivers and streams. And because they are relatively shallow, tidal, protected areas, they become nurseries where young fish, shellfish, and crustaceans feed and grow until they're ready to brave the wide open sea. Tides are what bring food and waste in and out of the estuary. Where does this food come from? Well, it's the very plants well adapted to living here, for example, by being flexible and resistant to the wind and tolerant of the salt water through the workings of their internal mechanisms that break down into the water and form dissolved organic matter that is the base of the food pyramid. A plant's ability to convert carbon dioxide gas into organic matter, which then becomes nutrients that tiny arthropods, crustaceans, zooplankton, birds, and fishes eat, is called productivity and estuaries are thus highly productive ecosystems. So, it's the physical forces of the area, the tides that once powered a mill here, that help to replenish the food web at the lowest levels while preventing too much decomposing waste from accumulating. This would affect marine life negatively by creating food for bacteria, which would then use up all the oxygen and making the area devoid of life. Estuaries are crucial habitats for many creatures. From the tiny copepods, isopods, and worms that live in the mud, along with clams, mussels, and other shellfish, to the larger life forms like the reeds and rushes, the wading birds that use their pointed bills to search for food in the mud, the osprey that swoops down and catches fish from the surface, the coyote that creeps through the brush, pouncing on moles and rabbits, and even for people who have come here to fish and hunt since prehistoric times. Right here, for example, there used to be an important clam fishery for the town of Westport, Connecticut, and even a restaurant called Allen's Clam House. In addition to providing beautiful recreational areas for people and food like clams and fish, estuaries and wetlands provide many other benefits that are not as obvious. For example, in the face of climate change and rising sea levels, coupled with more powerful storms, wetlands like this one act as a buffer to coastal dwellings. The spongy ground also literally sponges up runoff from town filtering out petrochemicals and pesticides before they can go into the sea and affect marine life. These benefits are generally called ecosystem services, and they have a high economic value, adding to the intrinsic value of the estuary as a highly biodiverse and productive ecosystem. I hope you've learned something about estuaries today, and that you will act to protect your local wetlands by supporting conservation projects, limiting your use of fertilizers and pesticides in the garden, reducing, reusing, and recycling, and even rethinking your consumption of plastics and other trash that becomes marine debris. And by visiting and appreciating an estuary near you, whether it be for bird watching, paddle boarding, fishing, or just enjoying the sights and sounds of the natural world. 
Thank you very much.